Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 159, getting ourselves to the end of 2018, December 6th. It's getting cold here. I guess probably true for most of you unless you're in the southern hemisphere, which I don't know how many of you are, but welcome if you are. As always, these meetings are recorded, probably for those of you in the southern hemisphere um, that aren't watching right now. Uh, we'll do triage. It's going to be a short meeting because I have to go run. Um, and then we'll do any questions, comments that are around at the end of that, uh, but not too many because I have to run. So let's go do triage. And I just realized I said Southern Hemisphere when it's really time zones for people that watch this recorded, but... I was going to say something, but I realized that would make me extra, extra pedantic. Yeah, well, you know, I was like, yeah, I have to go look at our stats to see what we have in, like, South America, because that's, you know, Central South America. Uh, parts of Central America? I guess the equator's far there. Yeah, anyway, my geography is not quite attuned there. Um, we're going to skip these bottom three. Uh, oh, lost the mouse. All right. Uh, Wix four decompile the product doesn't schedule actions. I assume we just need to put this in four. Give it a um, Well, so I, I opened it back up um, because, as I note, it's it's a little weird. It's it's that decompile type. Decompile a merge module as a product. Yes. Um, it's it it does some funky things. Um, or rather in this case it does the right thing. Um, if you if you you know set that property then the right thing happens. Um, and I'm I think I think it is actually working correctly. If you don't set that flag, um, but you're decompiling as a product, it's probably the right thing to do to skip the merge module tables. Ah, uh, yes. Because how it's do you just, represent it? Yeah, it's it's a, it's just it's one of, it's a little weird because we're basically uh, we basically have two flags that that interact in sometimes weird ways. Yeah, I mean, ideally, the merge module leftover tables would turn into merge ref and merge elements. Uh, I don't know how we would find what to put there, right. but that's kind of what you would hope, right? Um, well, I don't know. Not if you're not if you're decompiling the actual merge module. Right. Well, if you're decompiling the merge module, then that information turns into like the module element, so on and so forth. If you're decompiling as a merge module. As a but if you use the special flag, then uh, you're not. So I'm I'm actually I'm going to say that this is working correctly. Um, okay. And if you're in this space where you're decompiling stuff, well, then you should probably look into it more deeply than the person who opened this bug did before you open the bug. <laughs> All right. So you're saying this bug can go. Yep, I think it's okay. AKA not a bug. All right. The VS2017, removing a project reference, deletes the project from disk. That seems surprising. And bad. I don't know how it... I don't think I've ever done that. And I've done it. I've done it. I've never done it to a VB project. Oh, that's certainly true, yes. Cool. Well, we should put that out there and someone should look into that because that doesn't sound good. Um, decompiler ARM into package platform. Yeah, I suppose. We support ARM platform. Yeah. Technically, we do. It's in the list. Oh, yeah, we should do this. Um, are you taking this or I assume this is one of those things that need to be fixed in your world? Um, well, no, I was able to work around it. Um, ah. But sure, I'll take it. Accessibility. Welcome dialogue orders of controls incorrect. Interesting. We get some of these every once in a while. Someone runs a test pass and um Yeah. Um cool. Someone should fix this then that knows how to do accessibility stuff. Right? Well, that's a challenge. Um, 
So this one, we at least have a report. Um, ordering is probably something that we can control relatively well. Um, there are other bugs in this series that I don't think we can do anything about, but I think order we can. Welcome uh, dialogue. Next, cancel, then the rest is random. So okay. I don't think it's random. It's just I mean, seemingly random, but it's like, okay, fine. But I don't know. What order should they be? I guess maybe it matters. Uh, we have the problem with MSI UI support. It's like... I, <laughs> It should come up, so I think it's correct. The, the next button is like the default one, but then it means that the order has to follow from there, mm -hmm. which you know looks a little weird. I think the way we have it set up is that the order is in top down, left, right, from you know top left. Um, I don't, what which, other order would you want? Well. Well, their point is the order has to follow from the default, basically. So if we start with the next button, then it should. Hmm. Well, unfor unfortunately, this report doesn't include a lot of detail. No. Um, the order is seemingly random. That doesn't terribly help. Uh, no, I don't know what the what the order is. All right, we, someone can fix this whenever they want to. I mean, yeah, sure, should do it. Someone that wants to do this should go dig into it. Ah, oh, this is coming from PowerShell. All right, great. Cool. PowerShell guys could help us out if they want their order to find. So, yeah, we could put it out Good there. Point. Um, screen reader cannot give information about installation progress. Okay. This is one I don't think we can fix. Yeah, we should give this and say they should go tell the Windows installer to report yeah. progress correctly. I haven't seen anything that says that MSI UI now supports accessibility. Yeah, um, so we should resolve that one external. Yeah. Order of controls is read incorrectly. First it reads the install button, cancel button, and back button, which is not correct. Order should be left to right, top to bottom. That's probably the tab order, isn't it? Install button, cancel button. And then back button. Back button. It's probably tab order that we're using. Well, and the back button is going to be disabled, so right. I don't know how that reads in. This is probably related to the first accessibility bug, mm -hmm. just general control order. Cool. Um, Hopefully, it's something we can do. Yeah, tab word for uh, default control and skipping. And we skipped the the known to be disabled button. I don't know. Um, yeah, someone can dig into all these. So, yeah. Narrow reading graphic controls is not useful. I suspect this is the same yeah. as the progress bar. Yep. I agree. Don't know what the Windows style would do. Wix UI advanced hard codes x86. Okay. Yeah. It's not surprising. Nope. Not surprising at all. Cool. And toss that in the future. Someone could fix it if they want. Be great. String overflow gray length per minute and column something, yeah, so uh, I can't get yeah. that. This, this one appears to be that um, the oh. JJP localization tries to specify multiple fonts, which is very typical for Japanese mm -hmm. and then it uh, localizations, but yeah. I don't think MSI supports multiple fonts, ah. um, so we should probably be sticking with one. Why don't we leave that comment in here and someone could fix it that wants to. Yep. I lost my mouse here. Setting to enforce different reinstall mode for bootstrappers. They want control of the reinstall mode. That's what it looks like. All right, 
So I could design that and could evaluate it, see if that works. Not sure how that would work out, but yeah. And I'm not sure that the bundle wide flag makes sense. No, it probably needs to be per package. And yeah. Anyway, it needs a design. So, I mean, if, yeah, there's probably some scenarios where having control over install mode is interesting beyond what Burn does by default when you screw stuff up. So, yes. Uh, I think this person said everything works. Yeah, they didn't include the reference. So, that's not a bug. Conditional inclusion of files. This is in the Wix project itself. Yes. So this is a votive thing. Votive. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Someone could teach votive to understand that. Installer axes. Bin skim. I put out a PR to suppress all current results against Wix Research by suppressing the analysis. Interesting in your opinion. I appreciate your feedback. All current results. Bootstrapper, I see. All right. Uh, you can give this to me. I'll answer the questions, and then that one can go away. Straightforward answers. If they won't work, you can do that. VS 2019 support in Preview 1. I mean, sure, we sh no. Yes, we should do this. Put it, I don't know, later. Because I don't know when that will get. We usually get to that when VS ships, but rarely do we get to the previews. Unless someone wants to go do their work. So, yeah, we should do that at some point. Someone's going to need to do that. Votive. But. Cool, so put it on Votive and someone can do it. All okay. right. It's just it's work. All right, cool. Anything else going on out there right now? Things people want to talk about, do otherwise, things like that? I don't have anything. Sorry, what was that? I don't have anything. Okay. Bob? Jacob? I pretty much file my bugs and or fix them. Yep, yeah, right. Bob's doing the right thing right now. Um, all good. All right, cool. So we blew through triage after skipping a week. Uh, I didn't even look ahead. Two weeks? Is that still in? Yeah, two weeks. 20th. People should still be around, right? Enough of us yep. around? Yep, yep. All right, cool. So we'll meet in a couple weeks, uh, see what happens in those two weeks that we can talk about, uh, see if there's more issues to triage, uh, things like that. And I guess until then, all of you have a uh, good couple weeks, and we'll talk in two. Later. Bye. Bye.